Hi boys and girls, we're going to be working on describing a character using our feelings words. So I went ahead and I picked this page out from the book for us to practice a little bit together first before you practice on your own. I'm going to read the text first and then I'm going to think which would be the best feeling word to describe Saruni. All right, here we go. I plunged into the market. I saw roasted peanuts, chapati, rice cakes, and rambusa. There were wooden toys and trucks, kites and slingshots and marbles. My heart beat so excitedly. I wanted to buy everything, but I clutched my coins tightly in my pocket. So thinking about what Saruni was doing, um, how do we think he was feeling when he was walking through the market? Do we think he was feeling happy or excited? or bored? Well, it's a little hard to tell by just looking at his face, so it's important I also use details from the story. Something I noticed when I was reading is it said, my heart beat excitedly. So I'm thinking the best word to describe Saruni on this page would be excited. He was super excited when he saw all these things for sale in the market. Now let's try another page together. This page says, that night I dropped five 10 cent coins into my secret money box. It held other 10 cent coins too that Yayo had given me for helping with the market on Saturdays. By the dim light, I feasted my eyes on the money. I couldn't believe it was all mine. Now I want you to look at Saruni in this illustration and also think about what he was saying and doing in the text. How do you think you would describe Saruni's feelings words? Hmm, well it said that he feasted his eyes on his money and he can't believe it's all his. And he also was smiling a little bit in that picture. He also worked really hard to earn all this money by working on the market. If I was to think how he was feeling, I would say he's feeling proud. I would be very proud of how hard I worked if I was Saruni. So now, boys and girls, what you're going to do is you're going to get the materials out of the tub and you're going to practice something that is called emoji matching. Yep, that's right. You're going to be matching these emojis to different pictures in the text. Now, if you look, I have put QRs on each picture in the text. So all you have to do is scan the QR, listen to the page, and think, hmm, how is Saruni feeling on this page in the book? Then, when you listen to the page, you're going to click, or I'm sorry, you're going to grab the emoji card, and you're going to match it on the page to match how he was feeling. I'm gonna give you a super short little sneak peek. Oop, there it is. Yep, you're gonna have an answer key. I can't show it for you to, for too long, but you're gonna use your answer key to check your answers at the end to see if you correctly matched the emojis with how Saruni was feeling. Good luck, boys and girls.